Hello friends, this video on microorganisms friend and foe part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us start with microbes in household. Now let us look at some of the household products where microbes play an important role. So one of these is curdling of milk. Like how is curd prepared? Curd is actually prepared from milk. So how this conversion of milk takes place into curd, the major role is played by the microbes. So microbes are responsible for milk turning into curd. So curdling of milk is one such application. Baking. So all types of baking products, whether you talk about cake or you talk about bread. So there also microbes play a very important role. Cheese formation. We all often use cheese in our food items. So this cheese is also prepared by the action of microbes. Pickles. Pickles which are stored and preserved for a long time. So you would have seen your mother or your grandmother, they prepare pickle and you store it for a very long period of time. So these pickles also are prepared with the help of microbes. So these are some of the household items where microbes play an important role. So we are going to discuss about each of these and we will see that how, what role exactly is played by microbes in each of these products. So let us first talk about curd. So how is microbe playing the most important role in curd preparation? So what is curd actually? Curd contains a bacteria called lactobacillus. So this bacteria is always present in the curd. So next time whenever you eat curd or whenever you see curd, so always remember that there is a bacteria which is already present in the curd. But do you think that curd is poisonous? Not at all. In fact, curd is something which is extremely healthy for us and we eat it. So what happens? Once we eat curd, do we fall ill? No, but the bacteria is already there. So the bacteria which is present inside the curd is a friendly bacteria and it is not a harmful bacteria. That is why it doesn't harm us. So now what we have to see is how exactly this lactobacillus help in the process of conversion of milk into curd. So lactobacillus, it is a friendly bacteria as I said and it treats and prevents diarrhea. Now forget about the fact that it is going to harm us. It is going to help us. It, it helps us to prevent diarrhea and that is why you would have seen that when you are suffering from diarrhea, uh, it is prescribed or you are advised to eat curd because curd contains this bacteria and it will prevent or it will treat the problem of diarrhea. It also helps in food breakdown. Now once you eat the curd, the, this bacteria gets inside your body. So this bacteria helps in, in an indirect way in the process of digestion. Because in the digestion process what happens? The complex food particles are broken down into simpler forms. So this bacteria also plays an important role in the process of food breakdown. It also helps in absorption of nutrients. Now, once the food is digested inside our body, then the food is absorbed by different parts of the body. And that's how we get energy out of the food. So this bacteria also helps in absorption of nutrients. So you see, this bacteria after getting inside our body, they help us in a number of ways. So now let us see how exactly the process of curdling takes place. That is conversion of milk into curd. This process is called curdling. So how this process actually happens. Now have you ever seen your mother preparing curd or have you ever yourself tried to prepare curd? If not, you can try it at your home. So all you need is milk and a little bit of curd, maybe a spoon of curd. That should be enough. Okay. So what you have to do is you take a bowl, put some milk in that bowl. Now that milk should not be boiling hot and it should not be freezing as well. So it should be little warm. So you take milk in that bowl and you add a small amount of curd into that milk and then you leave it overnight. Next morning when you see, you see that it has transformed into curd. So basically that small amount of curd is able to convert that bowl of milk into a bowl of curd. So what exactly happens? Now as I said, this spoon of curd, even, that, even though it is very small amount of curd, but that small amount also contains the bacteria lactobacillus. So what this lactobacillus does, that is what we have to concentrate here. 
Now, even though the amount of curd which is added is very small, but this small amount of curd contains millions of lactobacillus. And what do these lactobacillus do? These lactobacillus, they convert sugars into lactic acid. And where are sugars present? Now, milk. So, the, here you have milk and milk contains a sugar called what is the sugar which is present in milk? The sugar which is present in milk is lactose. So milk contains lactose sugar. So the word lacto is related to milk. Therefore the sugar present in milk is lactose. So this lactobacillus will convert lactose into lactic acid. So basically it will convert sugar into acid. So lactic acid will be formed. Now what happens when lactic acid forms? This lactic acid will coagulate and partially digest the milk protein. Now this milk, the way milk is, it is because of the presence of the various particles in it. Now there is a milk protein. Now the protein gets destroyed. The structure of the protein gets altered and this alteration happens due to the formation of lactic acid. Now what happens? This lactic acid, due to the formation of this acid, it imparts a sour taste to the curd. So that is why there is a big difference between the taste of milk and the taste of curd. So curd is sour in taste. But when you taste milk, it is kind of sweet, right? So you can say that milk is kind of sweet. So milk is sweet due to the presence of sugar and curd is sour due to the presence of acid. And who converts sugar into acid? Lactobacillus. That is why for curdling to take place, it is extremely important to add a small amount of curd. If you do not add that, you are basically not adding the lactobacillus bacteria. And as long as you do not add this bacteria, the sugars will not get converted into acid and milk will also not turn into curd. So what happens is at a suitable temperature, like normally the room temperature, these lactobacillus, they start to grow and multiply. Now as lactobacillus grow and multiply, what happens? More and more coagulation of proteins take place. As I said, the milk proteins, they start coagulating. Therefore, the nutritional quantity quality is also improved. For example, if you compare the nutritional quality of milk with that of curd, you will see that in curd, the content of vitamin B12 is much more than that of milk. So all these changes happen. So, so who is responsible for this entire change? Lactobacillus. And lactobacillus is a bacteria. So here you can see that this bacteria is not our enemy. Instead, this bacteria is our friend. It helps in preparing a better nutritional product like curd. Even when it gets inside our body, it helps in the in breakdown of food. It helps in absorption of nutrients. It helps to treat diarrhea so there are a number of ways in which this bacteria help us so this is one example of a friendly bacteria so as i said the increased acidity causes the milk proteins to turn into solid masses so that is why your milk is liquid but when you look at the curd curd is not liquid so curd is like solid masses so this conversion happens due to the coagulation of the milk proteins which milk protein is present the milk protein is season thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.